Detroit. The rainy weather didn't keep people from the polls on this election day. Voters are deciding several key races and issues at the state and local level tonight. Of course, we are watching the governor's race. The race for the next Dallas County District Attorney and we're covering the wet, dry vote in Dallas. NBC 5's Omar Franca is in Buda. Kevin Coakley joins us from Houston. And back in North Texas, we have NBC 5's Ken Koltoff and Grant Stinchfield in Dallas. The polls close in a little bit less than two hours from now. The ballots will soon be counted, though, in the governor's race. Republican Rick Perry has never lost an election. Neither has his opponent, Democrat and former Houston Mayor Bill White. Tonight, that distinction will change. Let's start our team coverage live with Omar Villafranca and Buda at the Perry Watch Party. Hey, Christy. Well, uh, Perry's campaign theme was pro-Texas, and I'm going to try to slide out of the way here. You can kind of see that at tonight's party is going to have that same theme with the big Texas flag as the backdrop. Now, tonight's party is at an exotic game ranch in Buda, and inside, crews are setting up for what Republicans hope is a big victory at the polls. Now, Perry staffers tell me today is the busiest day of the campaign for them. They're working to get out the vote, making calls to remind people to go out and vote before the polls close, and also physically getting people to the polls. Now, even though uh, several polls that we've talked about on NBC5 show Perry with the lead, Republicans aren't taking anything for granted. I think it's important for Republican Rick Perry to deliver at the hot, top of the ticket. It takes him all the way down the bottom of the ticket. Uh, the questions will be in Dallas County and Harris County. What happens there? Will, will Bill White have a big turnout? Uh, will the Democrats turn out again in Dallas County? And that might make a difference in the governor's race. Now, Governor Perry met with supporters at his campaign headquarters and had lunch with some friends and family. He plans to have a relaxing day before coming here and watching the poll totals come in tonight at the Texas GOP watch party. Now, let's head over to Houston and Kevin Coakley, and he's covering the Bill White campaign. Kevin? Well, back to Election Day now. Voters brave the stormy weather to cast their ballots today. If you haven't voted yet, it is not too late. The polls are open until 7 o'clock tonight. Now, here is a look at some of the key issues we are focusing on. The race for the governor's mansion between incumbent Republican Rick Perry and challenger Bill White. Dallas voters are casting their ballots on citywide sales of alcohol. And there's the race for Dallas County District Attorney. We have team coverage on the race for the governor's mansion tonight. Let's start with NBC5's Omar Villafranca with Governor Perry's watch party in Buda, which is south of Austin. Confident there, Omar? A little bit of confidence here, but they're being cautiously optimistic, Jane. Now, of course, everybody's paying attention to the top of the ticket in the governor's race here in Texas. But what is that going to mean for other races? I'm here with Republican strategist Angela Hale. Now, Angela, how important is the top of that ticket for other races that may be statewide, but also locally in counties like Dallas County? Well, I think it's really important at the top of the ticket. If Governor Perry delivers in excess of 50 percent, I think most of the down-ballot Republicans are going to deliver more than that. Uh, Bill White's the strongest Democratic candidate on the ticket, and so the question is, does that affect the Dallas County District Attorney's race, and will the county go red? It's been blue for the last two elections, so we'll have to watch and see tonight. It's really going to depend on voter turnout in the end. Now, it's also the big question here if Governor Perry does win and has another term. It's almost the, uh, if it walks like a duck and it talks like a duck, sooner or later it's going to quack. Is he going to be put on the stage for 2012 in the presidential race, whether he likes it or not, with a win? I think he will, especially if he wins by 50 percent of the vote. It will be a, send a strong message from Texans. He's the longest serving governor. He has a good economic record of creating jobs, more jobs than uh, all the other states combined. So I think he would definitely be a contender in 2012. And there's also a little bit of talk about some of his book that's going to be coming out. Is that a thing that we're going to expect to hear more of after the election, or is, it, is that just a lead up to 2012 for him? Well, I think it's probably a lead up to 2012. I think he's been fighting back against the Obama policies, which he uh, abhors. And that's uh, the content of the book, from what I understand. So it's really a platform, I think, that he could use for 2012. Well, it has been a big theme of his campaign. But there's also another campaign. He has to beat his opponent first. And Kevin Coakley is in Houston covering the Bill White campaign. Kevin? You're watching NBC5 Decision 2010 Special Election Coverage. Good evening, everyone. It is 824. Here's a look at the latest election night results. 
Let's start with the governor's race. Rick Perry has been reelected by Texas voters. The NBC News is projecting Perry the winner of a third term. With 4% of the vote in, the projection is Governor Perry goes back to the governor's mansion in Austin with 57% of the vote to Bill White with 41% of the vote. NBC 5's Omar Villafranca is live in Buda with Governor Perry's watch party. Omar, any word from the governor yet? Uh, no, he's not even here right now, Brian. As a matter of fact, I just talked to somebody on his campaign staff and they did not even know that NBC had called the race yet for Governor Perry. Now, I'm here with Republican strategist Angela Hale now. Angela, it's not a surprise that he won. Is it surprising how early it happened? Well, I think the surprising is the margin. A lot of people had predicted that it was going to be at least 10 points, but what we're seeing is a 20-point margin. If that 20-point margin holds, and that means that is a blowout for the Republican Party tonight. As we see the, re the election results coming in tonight, we hear Republicans are winning in places that we didn't think that they were going to. We heard in San Antonio uh, there was a large number of Republican straight party ticket and possibly a San Antonio race victory there, and we have to look at the Chet Edwards race in North Texas. Something a lot, of course, on the plate right now, and still plenty to pay attention to, but the buzz is building here in Buda at the Texas GOP watch party, and if people are wanting to see officially when the governor is going to come out. Brian, back to you. All right. Thanks, Omar. We'll check back with you later in the evening. Well, here is a look. And special election coverage. This has been a very big night for Governor Rick Perry. He has claimed victory tonight, winning another term as Texas governor. So is the longest-serving Texas governor preparing for a run for the White House? We are joined by Republican strategist Angela Hale from the Governor's Watch Party in Buda, Texas. Angela, Governor Perry's speech almost sounded like it was meant for a national audience. Does Governor Perry want to be President Perry? Well, Governor Perry says he wants to focus on the issues here in Texas first. He says that he is not interested in the presidency. He hasn't ruled out the vice presidency, but everything here to now, tonight sounds like he is preparing for a possible 2012 run. But I think first he will focus on the January legislative session. There's going to be a big budget deficit. They have to resolve that. And then I think he'll look, seriously look, at a national race. Angela, this was a very tough night for Texas Democrat Chet Edwards. Um, that is a real headline story tonight. What happened in that congressional race? Well, I think Chet Edwards has been winning that seat for a long time. It was drawn to be leaning Republican, and he had been beating the odds because he had been a per pretty popular Democrat. But what happened tonight is Chet Edwards got swept away in the Republican uh, victory that swept across the nation tonight uh, in the House, and uh, he is a victim of that. Angela, are you surprised by the margin there? I mean, Bill Flores ran away with that race. I think that this is all about jobs and the economy and a referendum on Barack Obama's policies. Uh, and that is why so many House suites, seats have switched hands tonight, so that if there is a balance of power in the House, a check in one, at least one of the congressional uh, set houses to put a check on some of the policies that Barack Obama has uh, pushed through in the last two years. All right. Thanks so much. Angela Hale reporting there for us uh, from Rick Perry's campaign yeah, tonight. We always appreciate your insight, Angela. We've got a lot more election coverage here to come. Forecast in a few minutes. Okay, thanks, Jennifer. 631, and now let's talk politics. After 10 years as Texas governor, Rick Perry gets another four years in the governor's mansion, making him the longest serving governor in the country. He was already the longest serving in Texas history. Perry has never lost an election, and last night he kept his winning streak alive, defeating his Democratic challenger, Bill White, with 55% of the votes. NBC 5's Omar Villafranca was in Austin for Perry's victory celebration. Republicans were the big winners in Texas on election night, and the star of the party was Governor Rick Perry. Well, folks, Texas has spoken. More than 1,000 supporters cheered for Rick Perry, sending him back to Austin for another term as governor. Political insiders say Perry earned this win with his anti-Washington message and relentless campaign schedule. Perry is a great campaigner. I think he loves every part of politics. There's nothing he says 
I can go out and campaign with a smile on my face, and I'm smiling here tonight. He's just good at every aspect of the political game. Perry has solidified himself as the top Republican in Texas. And with a new book coming out and a national book tour, insiders say his name will come up for the 2012 presidential election. I think Rick Perry has won every single election since he's run for office, and every time people underestimate him, every time he wins. Perry has repeatedly said he's not interested in higher office, but after his convincing win tonight, national party leaders are interested in him. In Buda, Omar Villafranca, NBC5. Democrat Bill.